Welcome to the Beard Me That Beard podcast show. I'm David. And I'm Sam. And happy day after Valentine's Day, or as I like to call it, this year, Monday. Ooh, how true that is. <laughs> and uh, this is our uh, Top 5 Candy Day After Valentine's Day podcast show. We're talking candy. Is that really what we're calling this? That's the whole title. Oh. But it's just going to be the letters. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfect. I love it. Very the beginning good. letter of every word. But yeah, we're talking candy. And we haven't really done anything like this. Where we're going to try our favorite candy. So my top five favorite candies and Sam's top five favorite candies. And we'll be our, talking. Our, our favorite candies? Yes. I pick candies I like. Do this, I said, They're not my favorite. I literally said, Sam, get your favorite candy. What about like my kosher, like you don't do organic, you don't have non-GMO. A you don't have a kosher diet. Just That's, supreme chocolate. You definitely from... don't go to a grocery store that even <laughs> has a kosher section. Which, I, go to, I go to wholesale. You know, like a like world market. <laughs> world, what the fuck? <laughs> what is wholesale? I don't know, man. Yeah, you don't know. But candy. You don't know what, yeah, candy. <laughs> Heavily processed candy. Um, but first, Sam, I have a question for you. Yeah. Will you be my beard in time? Only requirement is our beards have to touch. You know what? Just for today. Before we get into the candy, let's go to Sam with the news. Sam? There is a new record for speed and distance by an edible car. Officially, it was made of 91% cake. Indie racing legend Michael Andrade won, covering 350 feet at a top speed of 17 miles an hour uh, to benefit the opening of a new parking garage at a casino in Washington State. After the race, everyone got champagne, milk, and slices of the car. This is happening right now during a pandemic? Uh, this was dated on the 4th of February. <laughs> Where? Uh, in Washington. I know. <laughs> I read it and I was like, what? Is this this year? No, first it is. Of, first of all, for a parking garage? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here, and it all sounds bad. <laughs> For a parking garage, you made a cake, a cake car, a cake car. So nine percent of it, ninety one. Yeah, the nine percent's the engine, the mechanics. <laughs> yeah, they probably didn't put brakes on it. It's just like a thing he sticks in the ground to stop. <laughs> <laughs> but he went seventeen miles an hour in a cake car. I mean that's. Kids that's faster. That on, kids do that on, on skateboards. That's faster than than some people can run. Yeah, because people aren't very good at running. I'm just saying that's impressive for a car. Made that's of bread. slower than the mar- like the top marathon runner. Yeah, that's, by a lot. But it's still impressive. Slow considering the general it's consistency a of a cake. It has an engine, doesn't it? Uh, it doesn't say. Just 91% percent Casino, cake. get your shit together. We don't have time for this. How about you make a vaccine that's 91% cake? Yeah, I just thought it was a funny story, David. Well, you've... You... Who's it hurting? Irresponsible. Sure. Lazy. Sure. Casinos. Bad use of resources. Yeah. <laughs> and, and no one was wearing a mask, too. <laughs> but that's the news. Thanks, Sam. Time for the beer. This week, we have Embolden Beer Company, New Motion Beverages, and Embolden Beer Company are two brands under one roof that share a commitment to craft, culture, and community. We painstakingly craft artisan beverages including beer, hard seltzer, hard kombucha, hard sparkling tea, and more to inspire those who fearlessly pursue a better tomorrow. We're drinking abstract dreams milkshake sour 4.8 percent blackberry blueberry lactose and vanilla thank god we're doing this on the candy episode because this sounds like a candy let's get into it so yeah we have from emboldened beer company abstract dreams and a little quick tidbit sam this brewery Mm -hmm. opened in november of 2020 Really? And they already have cans. <laughs> hey, good on you guys. Yeah, so they Especially took, in, in the midst of what many would consider a, a terrible year. I believe they <laughs> took over someone else's. For sure, they took over another brewery. But I don't know. I, I, I want to say 32 
north 32 degrees north oh i, I was gonna name. say it's like 32 what no 32 i think that's the i forget the name of it <laughs> of the of the former brewery yeah brewery. brewery and then this idea is called new motion beverages and emboldened is underneath it so it's like a two it's a major it's like a, brand umbrella and they're underneath it but like i said in the description they're like make other stuff like kombucha so like parent company emboldened i, I would say umbrella company emboldened so it's like a subsidiary I mean, you can call it Obs- that, a subsidiary, but you will be sued if you are incorrect about that from this company. Really? Yeah. Really? It's a, the text that says right now, David is not responsible for what Sam says. Sam isn't responsible for what Sam. <laughs> Sam is a hundred percent. The idea of Sam. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I said jokingly, this beer sounds like candy, mm-hmm. but it needs to taste amazing because it's a milk. For every time I hear milkshake, I think creamy, and if you right. give me anything less than that. It's a terrible beer already. My, my mental picture uh, for this is like kind of, like you said, creamy, but mm-hmm. like but like tempered with like just a bit of sour uh, edge. But s- I know that's probably not what I'm going to get. Yeah, that's probably incorrect. It's probably going to be way, a lot more sour. It, most sour beers aren't just a little bit. No, it's mostly. Like a goes maybe is a little more sour and tangy, like mm-hmm. what you're thinking of, but I can't think of yeah. a, a like, milky version. Like my, like, like my, 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 just ideal mental version of what this should taste like it would be more creamy, mm-hmm. but like that's I know that's not what a sour and, is. Yeah, milkshake IPAs have a little bit of creaminess, but they still mm-hmm. are very bitter. But yeah, let's get into yeah, it. Blueberry, still- blackberry, lactose. These are all good things. Yeah, these, these it sounds like a like a like a berry tart kind of thing. Berry tart. I bet it's berry tart. It smells good. Okay, that's promising. It smells kind of milkshakey. <laughs> Like a, That's it, a it tastes exactly how I thought it was going to taste, but it still tastes good. So there's a lack of creaminess, obviously. There, there, there is a creaminess. There. It's just not a milkshake creaminess, like I said. But it's more than I've ever had in any kind of milkshake beer. There is a... It's it's not creamy in the way that I was hoping for, but there it's it does cre- remind me of a milkshake. It's not a cream in an odd way, but it's not yeah. the least amount of cream has ever been in a beer. The vanilla isn't as strong as I thought, so thank God. Mm-hmm. I taste more I, more blueberry. No, that's I no, no, I because yeah. I always when anytime there's vanilla, I always think it's vanilla extract because it's so fucking strong. And right, this one it's not, mm-hmm. and then you get the nice tart, and it's not too overpowering. The sour isn't huge. This is really good. I, I mean, this isn't what I was hoping for, but I am not disappointed. It tastes like a kettle sour, which is I like kettle sours. Mm. This is really good. It's it's not as sour as I was expecting. It the weird part is it's not a a fusion of the flavors. It's like two separate flavors. Yeah, that there's I'm a tasting. there's a distinct separation. Yeah, there is no of, like oh, it's like this. it's there's no like I'm eating blueberry pie with ice cream and I get all the all of it. Mm-hmm. It's like I take a bite of pie and then you go and a take spoon a spoon of ice cream. Yeah, you <laughs> you take a bite of pie, like a so, you rinse your mouth and then you go to the other like thing. Like a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can picture that. <laughs> no, you get the pie, <laughs> you rinse your mouth, get some ginger, yeah, <laughs> rinse your you mouth go. again, Just, mm, and then some mouthwash, <laughs> spit out ketchup or ketchup. <laughs> <sighs> this is a really no, good. No, this beer. is really good. And for our brewery that is only a couple months old. That being said, I believe the, the two new owners are from Mission Brewery, so they they know they know they, the they have the knowledge. They have so I'm. Stoked, and this is right down the street from us. This is really good. This is really good. I'm very, I'm pleased. Good choice. You, me. It's four point eight percent too. So I, I don't taste any alcohol at all. No, I'm drinking this like a carbonated drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is really good. Yeah, very good. Awesome. I think this will go well with what we have uh, lined up for today. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad. I almost was like, we shouldn't do any beer. I almost said that because On I want beer show. Well, because like the candy is gonna really ruin it. Well, we should have picked different candies, but not really. Not really. I think this is gonna go nice. Yeah. So let's get into the candy. 
All right, candy time because it's uh, Valentine's Day. So that oh, the day after Valentine's Day, which means all the candy is now fifty percent off. So go to your local supermarket and help help them with their stock. Yeah, or they've already changed it and it's Easter Bunny. Already. Oh, what? A, that's true, huh? <laughs> yeah. I forget. They're like, all right, let's flip this candy. Yeah. Come on, now it's yeah. Easter theme. Then it's going to be in the back of the supermarket near the bathroom on a rack that just has those big orange stickers that say like for sale. Uh, but we're talking candy. But before we start tasting the can- our favorite candies, Sam, first yes. question. Oh, I forgot there's questions. Okay. Do you like candy? I do like candy. Um. Cool. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Glad. Glad this isn't going to be a wash. <laughs> <laughs> question two. I hate candy. What kind of candy do you like? What kind of candy? Um. Uh, that is a tough, uh, that is is a not tough a question to answer. Hmm? Uh, is not a I type like, of candy. I like, you know, a, a bunch of different kinds. But I know, like, um, like, like you never could go wrong with, like, a good chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate's pretty good. Um, I do, like, hmm, I do branch out a bit, like, uh, probably, my, like, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but I I do like other candies as well. Okay, that's fine. I'll wait till we get into it. Is there a candy that you can't stand and wish it would vanish from the face of the earth? Uh, Candy corn. Yeah. I can't stand candy corn because it tastes like, it reminds me of the dentist. I don't even think I've ever had one just because it doesn't look appetizing. Uh, Okay, so Louis Black, famous comedian, has a great... Has a great bit where he talks about candy corn. He was just like, I think all the candy corn was made in this year in the 70s, and it's just been recycled every year since. So <laughs> no one eats it. Yeah, he's like, it's shit candy. <laughs> nobody nobody eats it, and they just group it back together what and sell it, it every like? year. What does it taste like? Does it taste like corn? Like it popcorn? tastes... It's supposed to be like a kernel, right? It's, uh... <laughs> In name only. Okay. It's, uh, I don't know, I can't even describe that. It's just like, it reminds me of, uh... You know, I like I I don't know why, but like it's just like it reminds me of like that fluid they squirt in your mouth when you're getting your teeth cleaned. The chalky one. God, I don't. Or I don't even one, think it tastes like that, but that's just what I associate done, for some that reason. Little, like, drink this. And no, because that that comes off as like a little more almost sour. I think there's a flavor, so I can't I can't pin it. It's been a bit. Obviously, but Sam doesn't go to the dentist anymore. I do go to the dentist. Look at my teeth. They're so shiny and white, <laughs> pearly white. But I got an overbite, so don't don't at me. <laughs> Everyone should have an overbite. <laughs> um, but yeah, probably candy corn. Okay. I might I might soften on that as the years go by, but I don't care for it. Yeah. Right um, worst candy I've ever had. What candy did you bring? So I can say it. No, I'm no. Just um, <laughs> no, David. Uh, yeah, I, I've never had candy corn, so I don't know. Um, but yours, I. I generally like every candy I've eaten because it's just sugar. Come on. No, I'm, really, I'm really, really thinking. Um, uh, ooh. Baby, I love your way. It, it's okay. I, I don't like it. It's not probably not the worst candy in the world, but I just don't. I wouldn't buy it, obviously. Uh, Butterfingers. Kind of, so... Like you would you say you're kind of meh about butterfingers? And it's not the taste. It's just like you you bite. You have to bite so hard to get it off, and then after one bite, it just falls apart. Okay, I it, see. It's what you more mean. of like it's like it's a, a texture, a, I can't consistency. Throw it in my mouth. I can't cleanly eat it. It's not an easy eat. Yeah, it's an adventure. It's an adventure bar. Some people like adventure when well, they, they eat can their candy. Fuck off. <laughs> Um, black licorice, I guess that tastes oh, gross. I don't consider that candy. Yeah, it's a uh, wax, really. I consider black that wax. I consider that uh, unmelted lubricant. Black for lube. like industrial, <laughs> industrial <laughs> melt it down, and I'm pretty sure that would be good in like it's gears for on like a bike. The gears that get rid of <laughs> nuclear waste. <laughs> I feel bad for people that like black licorice. Yeah. That's a good one. You know what? I'd change my answer. Black licorice is terrible. Yeah. So, <laughs> And I've had it once, and I, I've tried it multiple times again just to see, like, what are, some people are like, it's so fucking good. And I'm like, okay, let me let me really try. Because, you know, you're, let you Let me give this older, an honest try. Like, your palate changes. Yeah, you're like, like, maybe I like it now. And it's still like, this is just... Like, Twizzlers are gross, but Red Vines are pretty decent. But Red Vines already are not... 
that great of a candy. I don't mind red vines. That's not my go-to. But like, like black licorice, it just tastes like solid ink. <laughs> like I'm eating, I don't like, know <laughs> if I can even describe it as a taste. But yeah, it's it's not that great. So let's get into our first candy, and uh, I'll go first. Go ahead. What you got, buddy? Oh, hey, can I spoil? Yes, you can. Hey, 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 hey. Knocks down all the candy. Oh, fuck. Kit I guess Kat. we both like Kit Kats. We like Kit Kats, both of us. I like how mine says king size, but yours is bigger. Well, I have the XL. <laughs> oh. Kings, yours, kings should be larger. Yours are singles. And what? They're going up and down. What do you mean? Yours are singles, and they're going up and Yeah. Oh. No, they're, yours are bigger. They're bigger by a little bit. Yeah, but you have more. I know. You have more Kit Kat per capita. Anyways. <laughs> per capita. Oh, <clears throat> Kit Kat has a perfect balance of chocolate and and wafer. First launched in the UK in 1935 as a chocolate crisp. The oh. Kit Kat brand name and logo was introduced on the pack in 1937. Today, the iconic brand is, is present in more than 80 countries. The famous Have a Break, Have a Kit Kat strap line was first used in 1958 and has been used without a break ever since. Wait, what is that? One more time? Have a Break, Have a Kit Kat. I thought it was Give Me a Break. Uh, that's the song. Give Me a Break. Yeah. Break me yeah, up a piece, piece of that, that Kit, Kit Kat, Kat bar. bar. This might be in the UK, though. Look. Kit Kat Chocolatery is the ultimate Kit Kat break experience, offering products with unique premium flavors, personalized and customized, dig- digitally shareable. So, yeah, Kit Kat, the, like the green tea Kit Kat. The, like, oh, I like They this. have all these different kinds of Kit Kats, and now they have this thing called Duos. What is... But what, oh, continue. Sorry. Where it's like... Coffee, mocha, Kit Kat. I have, I have I seen them those. in the yeah. shops. I haven't seen, I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't tried it. Um, but to the world, they're a Nestle brand, but to America, they're a Hershey's brand because Hershey work? has licensed to make it in the United States for Nestle exclusively. Really, that makes more sense though because our ingredients are different. I wonder if it tastes different. It between between countries, I mean, maybe probably because the mel- the cow- cows are much happier in California than anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a staple, yeah. of the of the of the state. But yeah, it's a hundred percent sustainable cocoa. How sustainable? I mean, it's has. I think they're like, defining sustainability by it hasn't disintegrated. Oh, I was gonna say like like if I left this on a shelf for a hundred years, would it still it, be? Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, what's the date? Longevity. 2022 uh, is the eat by date for me. Mine <laughs> yesterday, two days ago. No, uh, 2022. All right, you want you want? I'm gonna. I'll, I'll take. You want it? You want to trade? See if there's any differences sure, between this, a king size and a really fat. It's really hot fuck. in here, so this candy is starting to melt a little uh, bit. Oh, mm. I can't even. How are you gonna open this? Mm-mm-mm. I did not know that though about Kit Kats. Interesting. All right. Not the cleanest thing to eat. No, time. no. I always, I never have a clean Kit Kat. I always have chocolate but on my fingers. The wafer is perfect. It's not too strong. Bring me up a piece of that Kit Kat. All right, try mine. Mm. Mm, there is a difference. You know, it's funny. It's there's been a, a minute. There's a difference between these two. Really? What's up? This has more chocolate on the edges. Per capita? I guess. Oh, on the edges? Okay. Now, what store did you buy this from? Ralph's. I got mine from a Winko's. Oh. I think there is more chocolate on mine. Yeah. That's right. Fit for a king. <clears throat> that's pretty good, man. It's You know, it's funny. It's been a minute since I had a Kit Kat. I forgot how much it's I It's been a minute since I've had candy. Oh, yeah. I don't really uh, divulge in candy. Uh, sometimes it's chocolate. Mm-hmm. And we're going to find that mostly I like chocolate. Uh, cool. You should pair that. How does it How does it go with your emboldening? I mean... It's chocolate. I would imagine it'd be pretty... I was really just trying to wash it down. Mm. Wash down my, my, my parched throat. Well, I figure we have this great beer out. It's good. I want to see. I mean... Anything with berries and chocolate, I think you're not wrong. Blueberry, raspberries, blackberries, chocolate, vanilla. True. But 
I know for a fact that we do have some candies that I suspect might not compliment as well. Uh, maybe some of yours. Mm. All right. Let's get back to the questions. <clears throat> we did two of our candies that are the same. Hit me. <sighs> kind of already asked this. Twizzlers or Red Vines? Twizzlers? Refresh me. What is a Twizzler? They're the same thing, basically. Just but they're like different. smaller packaged, right? I think Twizzlers come in single wrap and... And I've only ever seen red vines from, in those from, giant buckets. From my experience, I think Twizzlers, I think they're there's they're denser, right? Is that yeah? Is that be I think red I'd vines like, feel softer to me, and they're and always in Twizzlers a bucket. Twizzlers are feel harder, like like I'm actually chewing plastic. I, I kind of like more so the resistance that a Twizzler offers. Oh but really? Yeah, because I like I like, I like, red I like vines all the way. Really? Wrong. Okay. Well. Enjoy your bucket. I mean, that's fine. More for me, none for you. That's fine. Get it's not even here. my favorite candy. Get out of candy. this fucking house. This it's is not a even, Red Vines house. It's not it. even my favorite candy. Dude. Favorite, favorite. Favorite. My favorite. If you can make a new candy, what would it be? Delicious. Uh, well, what would you use know. to make it delicious? I want to... Okay. It's not going to be a secret after this, but it's I do like... <laughs> maybe? <laughs> like a... Uh, I really like so like uh, some of my favorite chocolates have macadamia nut. Okay. Uh, I would like to do something with that. That's been done. I know, but something. What would something you do differently? I put my name on it. I don't <laughs> Which name? <laughs> Which name? <laughs> on so chocolate. On so chocolate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, There's but, nothing different you would add. I mean, like you, you don't have to be different. You okay. just have to be better. I mean, but. Just co- premium quality. I think you're going up against the one company that I can think of, chocolate and macadamia, and that's the Hawaiian company. I would just buy them out. I would make it mine. All right, you have that much money, and <laughs> I you can don't do it. Market. I can uh, do you it. Don't put any of that into this. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, forget this show. <laughs> it's all I about keep, chocolate. I've got, my dream is chocolates. I'm gonna buy out the, all the Hawaiian chocolates. Mine. Mine. <laughs> all right. I would. Uh, i do more with alcohol. Of course you would. Yeah. Would you include beard? Yeah. Beard? Like a stout. Beards. <laughs> like a little jelly stout. Bearded alcoholic. Like a jelly stout filled chocolate. Uh-huh. Or bacon. One more time. Bacon. It's a... I mean, you can basically put beer in everything mm-hmm. and cook it out and go for the taste. And then why not make a jam out of it? Mm-hmm. Or mix chocolate and then freeze it down and see what you get. Hey. Why that not, might dude? be a cool thing to try, huh? Melt down chocolate, boil a beer, and then let it kind of freeze overnight. But like, or a bacon version, like bacon whiskey stout, chocolate covered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It would be for like, it would be very small and they'd be really expensive. <laughs> of course it would. I would certainly try it. I don't know if... Uh, you would enjoy it. I, I don't know. I'm open-minded though. But yeah, I would, I remember there... I've only had a couple pieces of chocolate where like this has alcohol on it. Wonderful. I'm like, oh, this is great. Like it's explosion of alcohol. Hmm. Uh, and chocolate and alcohol is really good. Stout, no argument there. Stout balls. <laughs> Malted stout balls. Yeah, I'd eat that. Yeah, this sounds I'd probably like a good eat idea. that. Yeah, with a little bacon dust. You are it. really into the idea of bacon with your or ham alco- alcoholic chocolates. Chocolate and bacon, salty, creamy, chocoholics. bitter, beer, alcohol, done. You could call it you could call them chocoholics. No. No? All right. I tried. Yeah, you failed. You're not in on this either. So shut up. You and your traitorous Hawaiian chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the next candy. All right, let's try one of your candies, Sam. Uh, okay, I'll pick one that I know you don't have. So, okay. and I picked two. One, one for me, one for you. Because COVID, and, and because and you we, know, we, I want more chocolate for myself. Sam doesn't want us to eat it together. We already did that like beard this. touch. We already did the <laughs> beard touch, David. We don't need all that. But uh, almond joys. Oh, this is the candy I was thinking of that should vanish from the face of the earth. That's great, David. But almond <laughs> joys, I like a. Like I was saying, Hawaiian Hawaiian chocolates. This is coconut though. I know. And coconut. This coconut is, is an island is an island themed uh, associated with islands. Okay. Almonds are too. 
All the macadamia I- nut. All the islands with Macada- all the- macadamia nuts. <laughs> macadamia. Macadamia nuts and almonds. Mac- McDonald's. Almonds. <laughs> almonds bring me joys. Almonds. <laughs> All right, but um, I like uh, I like almond joys. I don't know if I remember ever having one. Were you about to? There's 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 cardboard. <laughs> Why'd you do that? What the fuck am I eating? Why are you Why are you so salty, man? Why are you so crappy? What? What's inside? Nuts. Nuts and coconut. No. Oh, it's coconut. Huh. It's I like, literally said coconut. It's like a half shredded coconut and then just coconut paste. Yeah, yeah. It's so It's like weird. the lining. Like, it's like marshmallow. It's different. It's different for a candy. Oh my god. You have to really like coconut though, obviously. It's a coconut it's candy. Only coconut. <laughs> there's, there's nuts in here though. I had like one nut in that. <laughs> Give me another nut. Nut in me, please. Bring me that nut. I'm not even gonna grace that <laughs> with an answer. No thank you. You just did. Nope. Silence. That's all you get. Silence. Ooh, I, I have coconut like all up in my. <sighs> should I should I look up a little trivia about some almond? No, because you didn't. You weren't prepared. You didn't tell me we were doing that. I literally told you write a paragraph about. You each. literally did not. No, I said write a little something, and you're like, uh, do I have to? It's like just a couple sentences, and you're like, okay, give me a shot. Gonna, and then you're like, I'm gonna write my own thing about it. So no, no, no write your no. own thing about it. What is almond? I'm gonna to you? paraphrase. <laughs> I'm gonna steal someone else's work. Um, That's what you do. We don't have time for this, Sam. You're such an asshole. <laughs> like you should have been prepared. Mm. Um, it's gluten free. Wow. I would expect that from something that has no flour in it. You dumb All right, fuck. Dig cunt. this. Almond Joy is a candy bar manufactured by Hershey's, consisting of whole almonds and sweetened shredded coconut covered in milk chocolate. The company also produces mounds. Don't need to know that. But, uh, yeah, almond, chocolate. Your transients are so loud today. My ch- like transients? The beginning of every word. <laughs> I like to enunciate. No, you'd like to David. yell for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. Michael this yelling. feels, I didn't know this. The tagline for Almond Joys, brace yourself. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Uh, I was going to say, our candy sucks. <laughs> I know. Sometimes. <laughs> All right. That's I it. mean, it's it was weird because this is I I don't think I've ever had an almond joy introduced in 1946. Really? Yeah. So that's what I I was like very surprised without the inside. Then then I I was being sincere. Like it was weird. Like this that, tastes like yeah. marshmallow. I it, I could I Feels could definitely like attest to the fact that almond joys are a bit of a um, acquired taste. Um, like you really have to like coconut. To you like really have to joy. like coconut for sure. Uh, not like enough a, almonds for me. That's that's for sure. I, there could be more almonds. I had like one almond, I swear, in the first one. Like one. Like some guy at the factory was like, fuck this guy's almond joy, just one. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get. All I- right, but I will save the rest for later. Oh, okay. You can keep that. I'll keep mine. Oh, but I. But, but I. I but I. <laughs> all right. But almond joys. Yeah. That was uh, mine. My next candy. What you got, buddy? Um, I'll go with this one. Uh, fancier. Lint, Lindor, assorted, assorted chocolate. Truffles. Truffles? Yeah. Interesting. I thought, you know, uh, I thought you were going to bring out like some almond roca or... Um... Almond ro- Like al roca? <laughs> right. Al roker? What do you like? M- milk chocolate, dark chocolate, or... Milk. Orange? Milk? Milky balls, please. All right. I'll try the milk one. These are all good. doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I've... I've okay. I've had these in the past. These, these are, are good. Fucking amazing. You just put it. If I remember correct, it's kind of liquidy inside. Mm-hmm. Is that how it goes? Mm-hmm. Oily. Lind- yeah, mm. oily. Mm. I don't think I want to think of oil. Mm. All this is oil. Coconut oil. <laughs> Coconut oil. I'm not mm. lathering up my skin. Mm. I, I do it for you. Don't <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Stop it, man. What are you doing? All right, let me uh, get this out for you. Um. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, I'm the a first fan. Lindor chocolate, 1845. I can't read this guy's name. Let me read it. Sprungle Lee starts manufacturing mm. chocolate. What's the U with two dots? Ooh or uh? 
Cool, you're not reading this. Confectioner <laughs> David Small. Sprungly Schwartz and his inventive son Rudolf Sprungly Amon own a small confectionery shop in the Market Gas of Zurich's Old Town. They decided to employ a fashionable new recipe from Italy for manufacturing chocolate to solid form. 1949. Lindor introduced. <clears throat> Inspired by heritage of chocolate making, that's a big thing too. Like our chocolatiers are like, and they always have fancy hats and, and yeah. they go around saying, "We're the chocolatiers. You can be <laughs> one too." <laughs> Captain Chocolate, he's, he's a, a hero. hero. <laughs> oh wait, he's dead <laughs> from diabetes. Oh. He's the face of diabetes. That's great. Um, created chocolate mastery, the iconic Linda recipe, the dis- delicious lint chocolate shell and robes, and ultimately smooth feeling. Once the shell breaks, the irresistible and decadent feeling starts to melt. Lint and Sprungli is now an international conglomerate sold in more than 80 countries with eight production sites in Europe and the U.S., distributing on four continents, which continue to roast our own cacao beans to produce chocolate from bean to bar. It's a real chocolate. Clearly, yeah, it tastes really good. It does. I like I've got you can't go wrong with it's pretty good. Lind- Lindor, like, I love this chocolate. It's I would so consider this more a premium grade chocolate, me too. And it's funny, like, this is their like in the store, but they even have like a real premium where it's like made in their shop, yeah, 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 like seized candy. I'm just saying for conventional store bought candy, this is on the higher yeah, end, yeah, and it's it's expensive, like a. Like a how much did this cost you? It's like a like a fourteen bucks. I would say it's like a nine dollar, ten dollar bag. I would think upwards of ten. I don't remember. Maybe it was fourteen. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I do I would so I wouldn't be surprised if each one of these balls was like a dollar. If you were to like individually separate, yeah. package. Yeah. Yeah. No, no surprise there. <clears throat> okay, yeah. All right. Well, definitely can't say you don't have taste, David. So I do have taste when it comes to candy and everything. Good. More than you ever will know. That's um, wonderful. Which holiday rules the candy season? Valentine's, Halloween, Christmas, Easter. Is there another holiday I'm missing? No, that's pretty much... I mean, unless there's a something I'm, I have like a huge gap yeah, knowledge on. But like those are the major candy holidays as far as I I guess know. other people's birthdays, goodie bags of candy. Of a certain age. I don't know. You passing out candy goodie bags? This your, is, I said season. Dirty thirties. This, this, this is seasons, not like I already turned thirty. You idiot. No, I'm just saying, well, like some in a general are. sense. Some friend you are, asshole. I am a good friend mm. and an asshole. <laughs> um, but I would think. Uh, I think Halloween. Yeah, Halloween's the 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 candy centric holiday. I think it's Halloween mind. because like Valentine's, it's chocolate. Yeah, all the other stuff like Easter like, Bunny, it's marshmallow or chocolate. Yeah. Those peas. What are they called? Peeps. Peeps. The little the, the little marshmallow, marshmallow ducks yeah. and b- rabbits and stuff. And chocolate. Yeah, yeah, that's for Easter. And then Christmas, more chocolate. But Halloween. Halloween every is candy. everything, yeah. Or I guess Christmas and, uh, candy uh, candy and too. when I think of the other holidays, uh, I think more like they 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 kind of come with the territory. Like It's like in addition to... The main idea of the holiday, but Halloween is almost like exclusively about candy. I mean, well, dressing up. What? Dressing up. Yeah, but that's and not drinking. the point. The dressing up is the point. No. Then the candy is the act. The action of. I just think the I think, reaction of dressing up. I think candy is more prevalent for Halloween. I, no, I'm not saying it's not, but you're saying it wrong. No. There's dressing up. That's the top thing for Halloween. No. Candy's the second thing. I mean, like you're one of those kids for that a crowd. wore a hoodie and went out and like, give me candy. No, I like to stay home and like watch like horrible horror movies. Yeah, you do. <laughs> like Atlantic Rim. It's not a horror movie, job. David. No, you got to think of like Wrong Turn Three or like um, Christmas or like the uh, in the, New York or like uh, the Green Room or something. <laughs> That's not that scary. That's or, actually uh, uh, what's it? Cannibal Holocaust. No, that's not scary. That's what? Just stupid. It's disturbing. Mm. <laughs> Human centipede. No, stupid. <laughs> Human centipede. Stupid movie up here. All of Sam's movies down here. David doesn't know quality. Quality and quantity. Mm. Uh, do you think chocolate is considered a candy or its own thing? <sighs> so this is a. This is civil war question. This is this is <laughs> could potentially. I will say this right now. Chocolate is chocolate, but like this thing, almond joy. This is a candy bar. 
Mm -hmm. because it has other things in it besides chocolate. I I would say... But unlike this, this is not... To me, this is not a candy. This is a chocolate crisp. Really? Crisp is not really candy to me. That's like cookie and chocolate. Hmm. Interesting. So, like, the way I interpret it, it's like chocolate is candy, but it is also its own thing. So it's like it kind of dips between both. It's like it's, it's like, like a Venn diagram. Chocolate has its own circle. Candy has its own circle, but there is overlap. There's overlap. That makes it. sense. I like that's a good. That's so a good, it's nothing like you said. No, you're wrong. No, you said it's candy, but also chocolate. I said it's chocolate. There, that I would it say it is. Candy. It is a candy with distinction. Like I can't think that's of another kind of candy. Fucking candy. No. Candy candy is just like Starburst. There's nothing like Starburst. Jolly Ranchers. There's nothing like there's Laffy Taffy. There's nothing like Laffy Taffy. It's those things. That's distinction. That's like your opinion. Sam's man. like I don't know no. what to say to that. No. It's like it is Why don't you just Here. Eat that. No. Put it in your mouth. No, you got your up. got your cootie fingers on it. I don't want it. I bought it for you. Because you're I'm, my friend. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're my friend, David. Everyone thinks you're my friend. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. That's not what I hear. Oh, that's not <laughs> from the circles <laughs> really? I'm in. <laughs> mm, I don't know. I'm going to tell you, man. We're lovers. <laughs> that's what I tell people. All right. <laughs> we're lovers. <laughs> and then they believe me. <laughs> All right. Did, uh... So that was that was yours? Yeah. I, you no, well, the chocolates and candies. Yeah. So, yeah. Chocolate, I think, is chocolate, but it can be a candy. You think it's both independently or dependently take it how you will i know what i think of it say it one more time hmm? say it one more time i would say i consider it a candy but it is also Chuck. it its own thing okay but i recognize it as candy okay that's fine okay you're wrong but it's fine. um do you want you want to grab something mm, let's do another double double no save that one for then really yes why? Wait, wait, wait. Which double up? The one that you have two of or the one that we have two of? Save it for the end. <laughs> okay. Now, this candy. I, I tell You might have seen it. I but, cannot uh, fucking stand this candy. You can't stand this? Well, uh, you know, here. You should have one because you're not you when you're hungry. <laughs> I, Snickers. Not a fan of this candy. Snickers. Now, like I said before, like almonds, there was not enough almonds. This has too many peanuts. Too many? <laughs> yeah. It's just, okay, well, then it's perfect. Also, don't you think peanuts are a harder nut to get through? Than, than what? almonds? I feel like almonds have a that a nice, soft kind of like cushion, and then the hard part where you're like, oh, I'm already ready to bite. I would say, I think peanuts in general are Hard. a crunchier nut, yeah. but like not to a... You know, to a fault. It's like it's like if I put ten peanuts in your mouth and I said chew as fast as possible versus ten almonds hmm. in your mouth. Okay, All that right. would be such a fun video to watch. That's uh, that's cool. All right, well, here's some factoids about Snickers. Snickers is a brand name chocolate bar made by the American company Mars Incorporated, consisting of nougat, nougat, topped with caramel and peanuts that has been enrobed. Interesting word in milk chocolate. Uh, and it says here the annual global sales of Snickers was two billion as of two thousand four, and uh, first introduced ninety one years ago. I don't know if that's true in nineteen thirty, <clears throat> and it is available all over the world. Wait, two thousand four, and it's only made four billion in sixteen. No, 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 no. Like in the year two thousand four, that's what it got. Oh, uh, in the United Kingdom, the Isle of Man. Jersey, can't say that. Guern- Guernsey, that sounds fake. Guernsey. Guernsey, Ireland and Europe. Snickers has sold under the brand name Marathon hmm. until the year 1990, and uh, Snickers brand Marathon energy bars have since been sold in some markets. Chocolate, Marathon. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah, that's interesting. Interesting. Hmm. But uh, so you're not you're not the biggest fan. Hmm. I like. I I'll I, eat it all the way. I'm but. gonna be like. I think of like of your typical store bought candies. Like I like that this one is the most filling. Generally. It's big. It's dense. There's a lot of stuff in I it. I like that it's dense because it but makes me. I lose everything in it. I just have peanut butter, caramel, and chocolate, and not the crunchy, crispy cracker part. 
like say well, what you will, but I do like the resistance I, I get when I'm chewing it. I don't. I don't need to work for more. But, and to me, this is the exact same as the Three Musketeers, but it's the superior version. <clears throat> Three Musketeers doesn't have peanut but peanuts in it. I'm I'm just saying. I they they're practically identical in most ways. It's to a me. puffy chocolate like marshmallow. Or like a Milky Way. They're all in the there we they're, go. they're all in the neighborhood. Three they're all in the neighborhood. So different. They're all in the neighborhood for me, but this is like my favorite Milky of like Way. Those three. I'll give you that. Milky Way and Snickers are the same thing. But Milky Milk. Way Milky Way is like the discount branded version, in my opinion. Don't they add something else? Uh, they probably have to, for legal reasons. <laughs> No, like then it's just I can theft. go make the same thing from there. I just can't steal the same branding or ing- ing- recipe. I can make the same thing and call it something else. Like the secret Sam formula. Onzo's chocolate nutty bar. <laughs> Nut and me bar. You gotta you gotta workshop that. <laughs> Where's you, get your think tank together? Beard me that nut. <laughs> nut me that beer. It's gonna be like nut in me bars. <laughs> You know they would sell just for people to that do TikTok so challenges. Funny. I'd be like, you know, that's an idea. Yeah, nut and me. <laughs> Creamy, nutty. I fucking hate that. <laughs> the whole back, the whole back no, part no, no. would just be and like. And it's like a chocolate bar, or like it's like a Snickers, and it's just like a white line right uh, down the middle. It's <laughs> good. That's an idea. And Someone the, can have that. And the branding exactly like Trojan. Comes. And it and it would just be spe- <laughs> be sold exclusively out of like a Spencer's or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, the alcohol one. Yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not in N me with those apostrophes. <laughs> I <fucking> hate that. <laughs> <Not so me. laughs> but Snickers. That's one I like. Okay. Um, did we did we mention also how prevalent these are on Valentine's Day? Like, do you see a lot of these kind of candies getting given? I know definitely the, the Lindor. Lind, I would say, yeah. These ones are more so like just shelf candies. These are candies, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe no. I think the Kit Kat has one. A heart. Kit Kat. Yeah. But, I've seen packaged so, yeah. but or they have like a special dark chocolate version. They call it lo- like a. A love, lovers, a love lovers, Kit Kat, <laughs> lovers, Kit Kat. All right, my turn. Hi, yeah, buddy. <gasps> Hershey's. I was so tempted to grab one of these cookies and cream. Ugh. Now Hershey's chocolate is just chocolate, so it's a little just boring. Just chocolate. It is just chocolate, but this one is <laughs> extra. Extra. It's for the extras. The extra, David. <laughs> <laughs> really. It's great. Uh, one, I love cookies and cream, but mm. I like the chocolate from Hershey's. <clears throat> there you go, buddy. Why don't you? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take. Which, which? I'll I take don't fucking side. care. Just grab it. It's I, the I same can't, fucking I can't, thing. I can't, David, it's like. See, this is right up my alley because, like, you know, white chocolate, usually coupled with macadamia nuts. So I have a strong association in my brain. I love my favorite cookie is white chips macadamia. Oh, they're so, they're so good! Like a fresh, fresh white chocolate no, macadamia. Don't even have to be fresh. Uh, oh. But those are my favorite versions. Like oh, so the Subway. <laughs> so good. It's like the oh right. Oh my god, it's candy. Mm. Sometimes dark ch- or any chocolate by itself is just kind of too much. But white chocolate is is not. But then they put. Cookies and cream in it. Oh, yeah. I think it's it's, it's just it's, like a a reverse Oreo to me. <laughs> like that's more, a good description. More of the filling. Yeah, but for the cookie. No, these are really good. Oh yeah, I got. I can't argue with you. All right, these. let's. Uh, do I have something? Give me some tidbits. Hershey's cookies and cream. If you love chocolate or cookies and cream ice cream, then you'll appreciate the delicious combination of crunchy chocolate cookie bits and smooth white cream. I do. I really Hershey's do. cookies and cream candy bars pack this cock's favorite combo into each delicious bite. Yeah, that's you know that's a pretty good description. And it goes great with the beer. Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't even try that. Yeah. It goes really good with the beer. <clears throat> Really good. Yeah. Sour. Sour works with... Uh, uh, and sweet. Mm. Ooh. If anything, that makes it better. Mm. 
Mm. That's like a lot. Of, this podcast just has a lot of mm, mm. and ah, uh, just a lot of affirmative noises not in me. Uh. <laughs> Is that the takeaway? I'm gonna come up with a tagline <laughs> before we're done. <clears throat> not in me, bar. <laughs> when you need to get nutty, no, it just says <laughs> fill me up. Fill me up, daddy. <laughs> Oh, I hate that. Why did that come from my brain? You should have said that. <laughs> Not in me. Candy bar. <sighs> Fill me I up, can't, daddy. I can't. I can't. <laughs> and I can't handle it. It's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a big bowl of fire. <laughs> Fill me up, daddy. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> but Hershey's. Hershey's cookies and cream <clears throat> in particular. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't want it to just be boring. So, yeah. No, it's t- boring. All right. Let's it's get back boring. into the questions. Oh, what you got, buddy? These are some Valentine's questions because, you know, we had to talk about that for a second. What does Valentine's Day mean to you? It is a. <sighs> I'm sure it meant something at some point in time, but I just look at it as a consumer holiday. Hallmark holiday? It's a Hallmark holiday. It's just, It is a. Uh, an invention by all of like the uh, global advertisers and everything just to like make money. It's like you love somebody, right? Well, you, you gotta buy them, you gotta buy them candy. Do you think it ever started as like an actual day just to sell? I'm sure it was like a genuine thing at some point or another, but it's just at, at this point in time, it's just a means for, for shops and, and companies to make yeah. money. Yeah, it's just like you know, it is one of those like, like society. Uh, just like everyone it's a it's an agreed upon holiday where people have to buy shit yeah or yeah. they make you feel like you need to buy shit you, like they guilt you into you buying don't have stuff to. but you kind of do you don't have to buy anything but but if you want to be a good person i mean a good a good romantic i kind of see it as if you do or someone you love you're a shitty person if you do buy stuff <clears throat> really you are <laughs> Uh, no, but I agree with you. I don't think it means anything anymore. Um, it's also probably kind of a way to get kids to have anxiety problems. I mean, like, I don't know if that's the goal, but it definitely like, makes making that a the thing. kid, like, if you like someone, you have to get them something. Yeah, there's it to a, them on balance. It just creates this is your only chance. And if you fuck it up, you're done. It's just it's just like this holiday where there's this artificial pressure created yeah. to make somebody yeah. have to do something that they may or may not yeah. be comfortable with. Or that something. being said, it's also a nice holiday to give someone you love something. Yeah. But you can also do it on other days. Yeah. It's like or every day. It's like there's like this week. elevated pressure to do something when like, you know, you yeah. could do it at any time. Yeah. But it's just like especially today. Yeah. And I don't I mean like that's it's fine, but I mean, like, I don't really buy into it. So a this lot. next question is probably useless. What is your perfect Valentine's Day? <laughs> simple. I don't like to, you know, like, I'm a simple man. <laughs> uh, just, you know, maybe like a like a, a ni- job or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, just maybe like a nice meal. But then that's like any day for like me. Like a buffet. If like they're open, going to the heck casino yeah. buffet. No, maybe, maybe that lobster buffet. <laughs> you, in the Valley Center. Valley I'm like, Bay. I had to think about it. I'm like, maybe, but I would no, consider. I wouldn't be caught dead this year. At a <laughs> Not this year, but you know, any any other year, no. a normal year, pre-pandemic and post-pandemic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you? Just, is it just any other day for you? Yeah, I mean, it kind of is. You kind of me. like do it, like, hey, talk. Like, I already gave her her Valentine's gifts. Proactive. <laughs> yeah. I already, Good. Like, I was like, oh, what do you want for Valentine's? They gave me your Amazon list. That's what we do in this household, Amazon lists. Mm-hmm. And she gave me your list, and then I looked it over, and then I was like, okay. And then, like, a couple of days later, she's like, oh, no, wait, this is what I want. <laughs> You're like, well, I already bought the other thing. No, I didn't buy anything. So I just <laughs> bought her what she wanted, and it was like toner for the printer. Because nothing says I love you. Because like. she wants to, she got into embroidering i think so you can print out a design and they you cover this thing called a stabilizer put it on top of cloth and then soak it and it prints the design on the cloth interesting and she's like oh yeah this website for one day had all the designs for free so i downloaded like five thousand designs so it's like so that's what she wanted and she wanted a thimble a thimble thimble. interesting 
but yeah, it's just another day. Um, but I I enjoy Valentine's Day now as an adult for the p- food pairings, like the, beer and chocolate and cheese. Ooh yeah. Like in like in what capacity? Like I was just like the a stuff. A brewery that, doing a pairing. Oh, like like yeah. like, like they they advertise and. That's what I'm I'm into pushing. the Valentine's Day okay. stuff now. All right. Other than that, that no, sense. yeah. Am I perfect Valentine's? No, no perfect Valentine's. I mean. Just a nice, just a nice day with a loved just, one. Just no, don't, that's every day. That's every day for me. I have. You Valentine's should. You day should strive every, for that. But I have if Valentine's nothing else. Day every day. Um, <clears throat> but there's nothing wrong with also going out on that day with someone you love to yeah. dinner. And there's nothing wrong with not, not celebrating doing anything. It. Yeah. yeah, single people do what you're gonna do. You're better off without it. <laughs> it's definitely easier being single. And if you think. You, it like that day makes you feel even more alone. How do you cope with all the other days? <laughs> like I'm single, it's just normal. Then it's just another day, no matter what. So get over yourself. <laughs> Next game. Right. All right, whose turn is it? Is it? Oh, oh, how do you say, David? Whoppers. Whopper. Whopper. No one. Whoppers <laughs> because it's only o- one O. The original melted, malted milk balls. 13 piece is a serving and it's only 140 calories <laughs> per ball <laughs> no per serving what a steal made by the hershey company whoppers are malted milk balls flavored with chocolate possibly the most hit or miss candy for me though because sometimes you get like a bad one and it ruins your day like it's overcooked or squished i and it yeah. tastes really that's weird. true yeah i think of the of the candies at least that we've explored today this, this one is the has most the ability to not be good this is the most yeah this one has like the widest margin of error yeah but when it's perfect <laughs> it's it's a it's great interesting i, I did not pick you for a oh, whopper I, guy i love malt I, okay Malted i guess beer, that, that adds malt, up like i'll take i'll take i was it. gonna pour it in your hand oh yeah sure sure buddy now I gotta say I don't uh, like this candy as I poured like five in your hand. <laughs> I hate no. Um, <laughs> I like I. I'll definitely say I was a bigger fan when oh. I was younger. Um, but that's not to say I don't like Whoppers. Whoppers are mm. they're the least offensive candy that I could think of. I love the fucking taste of malt. Mm. There's nothing okay like a okay. malted milkshake. Ooh, it's nice. <laughs> So hey, this one. This one might that's suck. That's defective. This one might suck too. Mm-hmm. That's if they're good. not smooth, they might be shitty. So here's the thing. Here's the thing for yeah. whoppers with me. That one just ruined defective. my day. Yep. <laughs> yep. Fuck that one's gross. So it's oh, more. Okay. The nothing. I have nothing against the flavors. It's just more so like the general like um. Mm. Not even the texture, but it's like the the consistency when you chew these. It's like if they were just like a little softer. It's a really crispy wafer. Yeah, no, I, I get, I understand what they are, and that's <clears throat> that's it, that's the deal. But it's just like, for my for my preference. Mm. But you know, that's not what they are. So, so fucking good. I can They're eat it all day. But yeah, it's a hit or miss. Because I did get one. I actually got a bag. You got one. you got a couple. Mm. I see how it tastes with my beer. Oh yeah, tell me. It's, it's weird. You get like no mixture or fusion of it. You just get the two separate players. <laughs> yeah, they um, uh, they don't mix at all. It's they like don't, they don't really malt, mingle. Here's the here's the beer. Back to the malt. <laughs> all right, what do you got, buddy? Okay, all right. The actual only candy that I consider a candy. The non chocolate candy. Yeah, we found the out only that we exclusive like non chocolate candy. But uh. <laughs> Mike and Ike's. What do you got to say about Mike and Ike's? Mike and Ike's. Let me, let me pull up. They were actually invented by a guy named Bill and Bill. Bill and Bike. <laughs> Bill and Bike. It was actually invented by a um, man named Ike but, and Mike. <laughs> His name is I, Mike and Ike. Um, Mike and Ike is a brand of fruit-flavored candies. They were first introduced in 1942 by the company Just Born Inc. The origin of the candy's name remains unknown, Interesting. But there are many <laughs> really? conjectures. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, Mike and Ike's were originally all fruit flavored, but now come in several different varieties, which have been introduced over the years. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Place of origin cited 
1940 as Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Not Bethlehem. Interesting. <laughs> Not Bethlehem, <laughs> Bethlehem. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Cool. Let's try. They are they are kosher, gluten free. They should. That's be. what they say. Zero grams of fat, so you can eat as many as you want. You can. Own, there is a Mike Nike diet where you will lose weight. I love that and muscle. Look at that. This is good. <laughs> All right. Good candy. I've never had Mike Nikes. Really? Yeah. Okay. This I gotta. I gotta. Sam, be you gotta remember. I only eat good candy and good things, so well, I'm not gonna have terrible things. Well, about. Be be prepared to have to reevaluate. Your Maybe idea of good candy. Evaluate. <laughs> I gotta say, um, like of proper candies, this it's kind of up there, but for me, between this and Sour Patch Kids, I really like Sour Patch Kids. Here you go. That's so funny. We have like a box candy and a box candy too. I yeah, it just worked out that way. <laughs> All right. So how do I? Cool. Stick you just it eat my them. butthole. Yeah, they're like suppositories. Stick it on my nose. She's got to flip over, insert. I lied. I've had had Mike and Ike's. <laughs> I remember this. I like them, man. And then you, they stick around, though, for a while, right? They lose their flavor, flavor instantly. I mean, do you, just, do you hang them, hang out with them for a bit? I pretty much just no, chew them and inhale. They're, not, they're still in my mouth. Like, oh, I guess you'll be down. I can't swallow them. Well, I think that's an issue that you have. So that the experience is Mike and Ike's. Have flavor for 0.2 seconds. And then it's just goo. I mean, I don't know how you're... That looks so gross. <laughs> it's like you have brain matter in your mouth. Um, no, I like... I like these. I'm about to fresh it out. Hmm? Well, good thing, David. You don't have to finish the box for me. Well, I'm going to spit it back in the box. Don't you dare <laughs> taint that with your face. I don't need that. <laughs> Please. Mm. Mm. I like me some good Mike and eggs. They're like, they're sweet, but they're not. I'm so trying so sweet. hard to fucking swallow this. <laughs> Does you have like cotton mouth? Are you like really dry or something? Or try with the. Uh... Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. I should pair it. Oh, I might just dump it back in the beer can. <laughs> oh, my God. This end of the candy is really bad. Did you already eat French fries? Yeah. We just swallow that gunk. Well, I'm sorry, David, that you have trouble processing candy, but, like... No, I just don't want to die. I mean, like, maybe I'm already dying. I don't know. I'll try this again. Oh. This tastes more sour. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought. Yeah. I was like, it's a sour beer with sour yeah, candy. you're not going to taste any difference. Mm. All right, last two questions, and then we'll get to the last candy. All right, buddy. Um, do you have a worse Valentine's Day story? If not, that's fine. Or not, if not, do you have a Valentine's Day story that you want to tell? A Valentine's Day story? Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't. Okay, so like I'll celebrate Valentine's Day, but in a very casual kind of way. Like I never really go overboard with Not anything. in middle school or anything or high school? I mean, not... Not that I can remember. I don't think so. Oh. Um, but yeah, like usually it's just like, I don't know, like last year it was like roses, some chocolates, and I think we went to dinner and that was about it. And like I was working that day, so I like did like that mail order, they deliver for you rose kind of deal. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I don't really, I've done that before. I don't really do a lot. To someone that was not interested in me too. <laughs> I did it for the kindness of my heart. Well, you're a good person, <clears throat> David. I mean, I'm not a good person. I'm just a better person. You're a good you. person. I'm a better person than you. I'm not a good person, though. Oh, hey. Don't, don't touch me. Don't you fucking touch me. <laughs> I'll kill you now. I'm fixing your hair. <laughs> Stop. Stop. We literally get zero comments I took, about your hair. I took so much time to, to even this part. It's Look called the shrew. The shrew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael. Shrewding it. <laughs> Question: mm. Which bear is best? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two schools of thought. <laughs> False. Black bear. Uh, that can be argued. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Bears. What is this? Beats Battlestar Galactica. <sighs> <laughs> Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. 
hundreds of people so for every year uh the hundreds all right um but, uh, did you you didn't i forget did you mention if you had any um, stories um i'm trying to remember i remember one year i really liked this girl in middle school and i got something but i just couldn't give it to her because i was an anxious little fuck I s- that's about it you know what now that i think about it it's not much of a story but and she's still i think she's still smoking hot <laughs> um i think in elementary school did you ever did in elementary school? Did they have like a uh, on Valentine's Day yeah, a point you, in the day where it's like, bring all right, everybody, you have a bag, it, yeah. yeah, and you put it, and you have those little cards yeah. that you rip from a bigger sheet and put the name, and and you don't really care about yeah. the person. I think uh, I, I, if I remember correct, I got I went out of my way because there was this girl I kind of like. What was her name? I can't say because she's still your friend, or because you. I haven't just seen don't her in a long time. Let's, tell me later. I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. Yeah. And then, um, but oh, I, no. I went and out of my way to get like a nicer candy, and like I like, I, I forget. I think I signed it or something, mm-hmm. and like I went to go put it in her bag, but I didn't realize that it was like musical chairs on that day, and she wasn't sitting Ugh. at her desk. She was at somebody else's desk, and I went to go put it in that bag, and like then we all went back to our seats, and everyone got their stuff, and somebody else got that candy. Did they come up to you and say, "I like you too"? can't remember but i i kind of have an inkling that that might have been something that had happened so you gave kind of okay awkward. like because, just misplaced yeah. candy <laughs> also you put the the two huh two i didn't from. i was i think i was in like third grade i think a third grader knows two not from. this third grader this is the same third grader that like like had a sneezing fit during a speech it's called <laughs> allergies <laughs> no don't you remember like 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 practically vomit sneezed all over my hands. When I, I was doing that story bead much necklaces. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> I remember that differently. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But that's about it. I can't. I really can't remember high school that much in middle school. And did did I ever do a flower thing? I know I did stuff for if I had a girlfriend on that day. I did stuff, but that's about it. That's cool. All right, here's a here's a question. Okay. We kind of already went over this, but why do people make Valentine's Day such a big deal, couples and singles? Um, I think it uh, boils down to uh, what's it called, self-confidence? No, there's another word. I'm trying to think of the word. <clears throat> I think it's just people grasping for attention. I think, uh, or like, yeah, they're... Um, God, it's in my head. Mm, people like act out. They have no something in themselves. What? I'm trying to think. <laughs> they they just like, yeah, no, it's the same thing. Attention or like, like they think if they have it, it's going to make them happy when it doesn't really matter. That's, that's true. And like, um, I mean, like, if if you're like that, that's you know, that's that's your choice, that's your life. But low, like, it's low self esteem. I mean, it's not self esteem. That's what it is. Low self esteem. Yeah, I could see that because it's like, oh, I don't know if they actually love me unless they do this. So it's sociopath. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of variables in there, but that is a, that is definitely something that would be a part of it. Yeah. But I think there is a, there is definitely like a particular personality that. I was gonna say gets off on doing that, but is but yeah. is prone to doing that on those kind of days because yeah. they like to just show and off. It, and then it's like the single people that do it, they're like, "Oh, I doubt anyone's gonna do this, and no one likes me." And it's like when there's like probably hundreds of people that like you, but you just don't like them. It's just like it's like you're just yeah, exactly. It's just like you're just being that fish that doesn't want to mate with any other fishes. You just like to make a show of being lonely. The, yeah. You're like, oh, nobody likes me. But and I'm like, like, you could argue like, well, she doesn't have to like him. And like, yeah, but she also doesn't have to look at me, look at me. She doesn't have or to know you him. exist. Guy, when guys do it, Jesus Christ. Guys are Guys do rough. it worse, it is, too. They like, like, <laughs> like, who cares? And it's funny when guys like make a thing, a stink about it on social media. It's like, you haven't posted in a year. <laughs> you have no and, presence and here. This is what you decide to post about. <laughs> I like, I, you know, what's funny. I don't do it a lot, but like sometimes when I'm online, like and like I see that, I'll like click on the profile and just look at like their their feed, and it's like they post so infrequently. Like the last post they made was the exact same post like a year ago. I'm like, or it's so you about, don't do or it's about being alone <laughs> yeah. six months ago. Really paints a picture for yeah, you. Yeah, it's like let's work on you. 
and then you'll be happy. Maybe to get off the internet. Yeah, it's all <laughs> it's, it's you, bad for you. You work on you. <laughs> you or just I mean, but yeah, then again, people have every right to say whatever they want. Yeah, no, I mean, like that's just our opinion. But yeah. you know, Which you're going to do what you're going to do. On this show is law, basically, because <laughs> we control it. Uh, the last candy. And uh, I'll say the description before we show it. Okay. Because me and Sam didn't plan this, but the only thing you need to know about this candy, it is the greatest candy of all time. <laughs> oh, you got it? Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And you got like the super cups, right? Well, or no, is it the multi pack? It's a multi pack. Oh, I thought you got like those king cup ones where no, they're I like a, this. I got the multi pass. Okay. The multi. <laughs> it's wonderful. I love Lately what you did. Multi-pass. I love what you did there. Ah, Corbin. <laughs> um, ah, <but> I got <laughs> Mr. Zorg. But I got I got the king size, and David just got like the the several pack. <laughs> the there's six. There's twelve of them. Several packs. What's your net weight? My net. What's definitely not yours. Uh, um, uh, 255 grams worth of candy. Minus 79, 79 grams. Suck enlarged it. for detail. <laughs> I think your penis. That's that's great, David. But uh, uh, but uh, Reese's. Is it Reese's? It's Reese's. Recess. 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 Like that time of day in elementary school. I, I mean, there, Reese's is a or recess is a thing in court. Too. Reese's. Yeah. That's not just middle school. Anymore. Court is in session, David. Yeah, the court of Reese's <laughs> peanut butter cups. Reese's, Reese's ketchup or ketchup. Reese's, reeds, reeds. All right, this is the greatest candy of all time. There's nothing to say. It's chocolate. It's peanut butter. Um, and they what got, isn't it, they, David? They dehydrated the peanut butter too, so it's not like you're pulling it out of your mouth. Oh, look at what? Sam's technique. I eat. What a whoa! Look at my cups. Not even needed. My cups. My cups. Oh, it's double. My wrapped. lovely Reese's cups. It's double wrapped. What? I need to go play the lottery. Wow, dude. Did you wish on a star the other day or something? Or that's my pretty. That's pretty magnificent. Sure. Now, what's your ideal way to eat these? Do you do any prep? I love eating frozen Reese's. Like, I'll throw them in the freezer for a bit just so they get, like, that nice, cool, cool edge crunch. It's really good. I, not not solid. I like, agree with you, but I'll do it in the fridge. Fridge? Longer. Like, overnight. Bigger? Longer? But it's not uncut. frozen. It's just cold. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Okay. I like, I like, I'm weird. For, for this one in particular, I really like some resistance. So you want it frozen. <laughs> not frozen. I don't want, like, ice off the sides, let but I do go, like it. <laughs> let it go. Can't. I don't know the words this of this anymore. song anymore. Oh, my God. Sam pulls the paper all the way off each side. I do it in four pulls. Like, northwest, southeast. Mm. 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 Do you have any factoids? No, that's it. Doesn't matter what. Mm. No history. It's a Hershey's company too. Done. Like when were they made? Like this particular batch? Was it like in May of last year? Oh my year? God! Look at that. Hmm? Oh, there's a. Now re- that looks a little overboard to me. There's a like a. It's like an ice cream sandwich. Reese's Pieces cookie. With buttercup, looks like vanilla bean ice cream, and another cookie. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> it's made by the Hershey's Company. That's all people need to know. Oh, I would like want to know like when they came it out. Was actually, it was made by a man who worked for the Hershey Company. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is I read this last night, and he and left you reading and it right made now? this. Because I pulled, it was just too long. It's a giant fucking story. It's just like pick? a Netflix series. Are you going to read it, or should I read it? I'll read it. Okay. Because you're being No, because I, I mean, like, you did it for every other candy. I didn't want to do it for this candy. But do Jesus it. Jesus Christ. Do you didn't do it for any candy, I and did. you weren't even prepared. I did so it for all of the, the candies, fuck, David. Fucking unprepared mouth up. I did it with everything. They were created on November 15, 1928 by H.B. Reese, a former dairy farmer and shipping farmer for Melton S. Hershey. Reese left his job with Hershey to start his own candy business. 
Therese. Amazing. Therese. <laughs> Therese. Shout out. Shout out. Oh, did you see all the taglines they have? Tagline number one. Go ahead. Not sorry. Tagline number two. Stop and have a Reese's cup. Can you do it in a Will Arnett voice? Because he is the voice of Reese's cup. I can't. I'm not Will Arnett, man. I'm not that talented. You're, if there's one person <clears throat> who can make a Will Arnett voice. Tagline number three. No. Try harder. Two great tastes that taste great together. You're doing Will Arnett doing Batman. You yeah. can do Will Arnett. I'm Batman. <laughs> see, less of that, but that's close. What are you talking about? No, not you're going to I can't. Yeah. I can't. I have to hear him. I haven't heard him recently. Um, how do you eat a Reese's? And the final one, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's, which is the one I've probably heard the most. I've never heard of any of you these. Haven't heard, have you ever seen a Reese's commercial? No. I don't have. I don't watch cable like you. You only watch cable because most of your B movies are on cable. No. Streaming. Well, you have commercials on your streaming platform? YouTube. You don't have YouTube premium? Why? Why buy the cab when you could get the milk? Why do you buy any other fucking premium service? Huh? Because I don't consider YouTube a premium service. I mean, it is. Even though we are hosted on yeah, <laughs> YouTube. Like, it is a premium service. And we are service. a premier channel. It is not free, Sam. <laughs> right. It's All right, premium. and that's our candy list. Yeah, I love candy. So um, I love... Go. Yeah, this is probably the best one, though, honestly. Best candy in the world. We can agree on that. Yeah, it, it, I honest, it's the how the peanut butter is not like it's just, it's just, it's just it's perfect, not, yeah. perfectly ratioed. Everything, all the, the ingredients little, are perfectly up to balanced. The grooves in the chocolate, everything, and then you can just bite it and then bite it. Oh. Perfectly balanced, like yeah. everything should be. But now let's get into uh, Sam's suggestion on this week's suggestion. Shit. Um, so uh, this past week, uh, I might be a little late on the train, but uh, I watched a a pretty cool uh, Korean. It's called a Snowpiercer. How would it, no, not not Snowpiercer. Um, but uh, if if you have Netflix, this series was released uh, this past December, and it's it's pretty cool. It's um they just it's called Sweet Home, and they describe it as a apocalyptic horror. Uh, south korean k-drama so it's like um it's a korean drama but apocalyptic it's like an action drama oh, oh like, like a supernatural like, i'm just thinking the korean drama it's it's pretty like cool novella. um so uh I'll, I'll give you like the little synopsis so um uh this kid uh moves into uh, a new apartment complex following like a really big personal tragedy and uh <clears throat> let me see it says uh, soon after moving in, his quiet life is disrupted by strange incidents that start occurring throughout the apartment complex as people uh, begin to turn into monsters at random uh, that are kind of based on like their hidden desires. And like uh, they can be hostile or, or cool, but like it's like it's pretty cool how it works out. Is this animated or real? It's, 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 uh, it's, it's real. It's like actual people and stuff. How it kind good, of. How good is the CGI? For TV? It's good. No, 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 no. It's not TV. It's Netflix. It's Netflix. How it's, good is it? Of the Netflix original stuff, this is up there. Is this I think a it's Netflix good. original? Or it's, is it purchased and then... It's based do... off of uh, a web a web comic. So, okay. I, I kind of think, like, um, if you're familiar with these at all, it kind of is, like, the better parts of, like, uh, Walking Dead mixed with uh, Tokyo Ghoul, if you've ever seen any of that. Tokyo Ghoul is really good, though. Yeah, it's like that. And it's animated. Bits of that remind me of that. And, okay. uh it's it's really it's, cool. I was like, you were saying that, like, they turn into their deepest desires. Like, you mean, like, Tokyo Ghoul? It's kind of like that. It's it's really interesting <laughs> just to see, like, the kind of stuff they came up with. And uh, I I just wrapped it up this past week, and it looks like they're probably going to make another season. So, looking forward to that. Cool. And it's eight episodes or ten? I think it's, it's about, it's, uh, I want to say eight. Okay. It's, it's like less than 10. It's either 8 or 10. Yeah. Because no one has time. It's for very that. good. And they're hour long. Like f- f- 45 to an hour. Oh, great. <laughs> it's a good show, though. Couldn't even be an hour. All right. Thanks, Sam. Mm-hmm. And thank you for watching and listening. Keep drinking. Keep listening. Beer. 
Beer Me That Beer is a San Diego-based craft beer YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and podcast show. And for more of us, check out BeardMeThatBeer.com. That's BeardMeThatBeer.com. If you want to reach out directly to us, email us at bmtbinfo at gmail.com. That's bmtbinfo at gmail.com.